Hey everyone, welcome to 601 Travels. We've already told you why Memphis, Tennessee is a great place in another video, but in this one, we're going to tell you why you should think twice about settling down here and calling it home. Before we get started, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button to join our travel community. We do top 10s just like this one, plus city tours and highway drives. Make sure you smash that notification bell so you don't miss a future upload. Here's our list of the top 10 reasons you should not move to Memphis, Tennessee. Number 10, BBQ. Memphis is known for its barbecue. If you don't enjoy a good old rubbed piece of meat, then you're gonna feel left out and looked down upon. Let the heavens open and help you if you happen to be vegan. There's no room for any of that here. Memphis is overrun with barbecue. Close to 120 restaurants dot the city that are dedicated just to barbecue. That's a lot of barbecue. The residents here take this style of food very seriously and compete for the best dishes routinely. Looking for food you actually like will take some work, but it can be done if you're determined. Number 9. Tourists Memphis is saturated with tourists. Looking for Elvis and fruity drinks on Beale Street? Depending on the events going on downtown, the city can and will be overrun with them. Yearly, more than 12 million people visit Memphis. Out of all the places people can travel in the United States alone, and 12 million decide to visit Memphis. That's mind-boggling. There are attractions here, but enough to dedicate time off and money to specifically? I don't know. Full-time residents have to deal with these visitors, and they directly impact every aspect of the city from travel to cigarette levels at the Circle K. Number 8. Not healthy. If you're looking for a city that has groups of people that meet on the green and do things like jogs and go for runs, Memphis isn't that place. Official studies show that almost 40% of the population is classified as obese, or fluffy as is more politically correct. It's second only behind Jackson, Mississippi, which should say a lot. Memphis also ranks five in the country for adults that have high blood pressure and diabetes. This is from all of those barbecue places with the beer taps I'm thinking. Although fast food restaurants are everywhere and contribute to this health pandemic that is occurring there. Number 7. Schools There are 187 public schools in Memphis. That is a lot of kids and a lot of schools. Think of all those school buses you'll have to stop behind as you're late for work. It's too bad the schools don't work. Test scores are 25% lower than the rest of the country and only 80% of the students actually graduate. It's apparent that health class isn't a priority there and they don't put an emphasis on focusing on making sure that the kids get what they need in terms of individual attention. Consider homeschooling or if you're lucky enough to afford it, private schools. Number 6. Commute Many people in Memphis are lucky enough to have some kind of employment in the city, most likely at the Bass Pro Pyramid, but there are many that have to commute to work. The highway system through the city is fast paced and hectic. When you aren't sitting in traffic, people usually drive over 80 miles per hour routinely. You have to factor in that the morning rush starts at 5 a.m. and lasts straight through to 12 o'clock noon. But wait, there's more. The evening rush hour starts around 12 noon and goes through 7. Yes, that's pretty much all day. Extra time's needed to get where you're going if you want to be on time, and this needs to be factored in. Number 5. Employment The poverty level is about 28%. That's huge. It's actually 83% higher than the national average. Jobs are difficult to come by in the city depending on what you do. Another problem is that if you do happen to work, you will only make about $22,000 per year. That's 24% lower than the rest of the country. Considering basic living expenses like rent are well over $1,000 for nothing special, you'll need multiple people in your household to find some type of employment. Don't move here without a place to work. Number 4. Weather 
Memphis is a bullseye for unstable Dixie Alley weather. It is a prime area for severe weather like thunderstorms and tornadoes. When it's not violently storming, you'll experience very hot and humid summer conditions, and it just gets better during the winter with a chance of snow that people there really have no idea how to drive in. During the months of June, July, and August, you might as well just crank up your air conditioning and not even leave the house. DoorDash, Walmart grocery delivery, do what you have to do. Just don't go outside. Number three, not Nashville. Memphis will never be the primary cool city in Tennessee. It's always going to be second to Nashville for pretty much everything. Nashville has better tourism spots for eating, entertaining, and has a much safer feel than Memphis. You won't feel like you're going to be assaulted when you're walking in downtown Nashville the way you will in Memphis. Just a different feel 100%. No cap. Everything about Nashville is better than Memphis, from its real estate, jobs, roads, and scenery. It just can't compare, and given the choice between the two, the decision should be easy to make. Number 2. Poverty I already told you how much you won't be making by working and living in Memphis, and how the expenses will leave you broke. The poverty in Memphis is real, and is a huge problem. 27% of the population lives in poverty conditions. It is all over the city and affects the quality of life there. If you're lucky enough to have enough money to live well, you'll still feel the effects from it because of the rundown neighborhoods and homeless people and buskers. This and things like shelters and refuge houses bring down home values and create unsettling atmospheres depending on the type of people you encounter. Number 1 crime. The number one reason why Memphis sucks so bad is hands down the crime and gang presence. Perhaps if the king were alive, he'd be able to turn things around, but that ship has sailed. The fact of the matter is, Memphis is dangerous and has violent crime rates that are 401% higher than the rest of the country. 401% is a really big number. You have a 1 in 13 chance to become the victim of a crime. That's in your house, or if you venture downtown. It's not worth risking your life to go out for entertainment and enjoy a drink. It just isn't. The crime is so bad here that you'll be living in fear, even in the tourist spots. Why do you think Graceland is surrounded by gates? Alright everyone, that'll do it for today's video. Do you live in or love Memphis? Maybe you hate it. While you're still here, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. That makes us really happy. Thank you so much for watching. Bye y'all.